Matthew 2 verse 11 says they offered him gifts. Gifts. It is a profound, wonderful thing when you give of yourself. And it is something that is remembered in the heart of the receiver. At least I pray that it is. Too often today we give a gift that does not have any part of ourselves. We might send money to somebody. We might, um, uh, I knew a, a father one time that would uh, send money to his children. And, uh, but he would never take time for his children. And I said to him, I said, the only gift is a portion of thyself. The famous saying, a gift without the giver is bare. And he finally got it and reunited with his children in a profound way. Not trying to be separate, but investing himself as the gift. It points out the importance of doing more than just giving gifts. The importance of giving ourselves, of giving our love, our interest, and the giving of our time. The most powerful thing that breaks up relationships today uh, is a separation between careers and people do not have time to spend with the person that they dedicated their life to spending time with and they uh, I've often said an affair is uh, anything that uh, takes time away from uh, the relationship and usually most affairs today are careers and you get so involved with that that you forget what is important in the long run now let's reverse this the gift without the receiver is bare it is important that the one who receives a gift give something of themselves I remember one time I had a lady that I was driving to church every Sunday and she didn't have any money at all and she kept trying to give me a dollar or two for gas and I'd say, no, 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 no. I, I love doing this. Well, finally, she stopped coming to the church because I wouldn't receive her gifts. I thought about that many times and how wrong I was because her gifts were important. Whether it's the widow's might, as it talks about in the Bible, she wanted to give and I refused her gift. It is a joy to give a gift, even a simple gift, to someone that expresses pleasure in receiving it. We the giver feel twice blessed. Blessed in our giving and blessed by the re loving response that our gift has invoked. There is an art to being a good receiver. I've had to learn this in ministry. People would constantly want to hand me money for the ministry. And, uh, uh, and it was... It's been a hard lesson for me to learn to receive this. And yet it is important. It's God's work. In terms of the joy of giving, it is important to remember that the joy is both ways. It is giving, which I love to do, I love to give more than anything in the world. But I haven't been such a good receiver all the time. And I've learned that the joy is also in the receiving. Because you're giving as you receive to the giver. A good receiver 
can bring joy. And let us show appreciation to others. Let us convey to them how happy we are by their giving. So today, you're going to practice both giving and receiving. And if you're a good giver, you've also, <laughs> you have to be a good receiver. There has to be a circulation in life. And it is the only way, spiritually, to continue to grow. May God bless you with a power of giving and a power of receiving.